pot. Let's discuss three for two. So, if you're spending all your time talking about people, first of all, you want happy. You want happy because what brings you joy is seeking light and life, right? That fills you with a peace, okay? But if you're talking about people all the time, don't be upset when people are talking about you, right? Not only are you giving them power over you, right? Because you're caught up in what they're doing. It's, it's all on your mind and focus. You can't focus on yourself, right? But <clears throat> you planting seeds of negativity, right? That's going to bear fruit. And you want to be careful you don't bear fruit in the wrong direction. Because anything you plant in, it's a harvest time. It's seed time to harvest, right? And so... When you, all of a sudden, it hits you, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. It's going to hurt, right? You want to be in a state of peace, meaning you want Jesus to come into your life and get you solid inside, right? So that wherever you go, you're not feeding into whatever everybody else is talking about, okay? You also want to pay attention to the saying, you will reap what you sow. That's a fact. So if you sowing all these seeds of negativity, you surrounding yourself with negativity, you're going to have a garden of negativity, right? You want to seek life over people because that comes back when you need it. People start speaking life into you. I've seen it time and time again since I see God. It's random customers that will come in and say to me beautiful things that just melt my heart, right? And get me back right when I'm sad or discouraged. That's because I sow seeds in people. I speak life over people. What I noticed is the enemy tries to get you caught up in what people are doing. And you really shouldn't be worried about nobody else's business but your own. If you make it your business to be in everybody else's business, your business going to lack. Right? Because you're spending energy focused on other people. Right? And you should never spend too much time there. Stay out of that. Right? Unhappy people like to create unhappy people. Because then they feel like they're not in their unhappiness by themselves. Happy people just don't even pick up nothing negative. They just go about their business, making sure they straight, making sure they lined up with what God has there for them. And that's it. And I notice a difference in people. The ones that sit all day and brood, oh, this person is this and that and whatever. They don't grow. They don't grow inside internally you got so much stuff going on inside yourself that focusing on yourself is the number one priority making sure yourself is right i'm not talking about being selfish i mean self-check self-check because when you walk into a room if you lined up with daddy god has the atmosphere should change no matter what the devil bringing through people the atmosphere should change it should lighten right because you bring your light into the room. But if you always carrying all this, ooh, that person did this to me. I don't like them. I'm going to get them back. Ooh, this person is weak because they doing this or that. Ooh, this person got problems. Blah, blah, blah. You already missing the mark. It should never be about someone else. When you talking, Daddy God said, when you bragging on something, brag on me. Daddy God said, brag on me. If you feeling lost and don't know how to get started, start bragging on God and how good he's been to you. Because you woke up, you got breath, you functioning, right? You blessed in that sense. And the more you focus on blessings, the more daddy God does. Because it's like, you know when your kids, when your kids, when you listening to your kids talking, they be like, my parents just get so dope. They this, it makes you want to go be more dope, right? It, must, it makes you want to bless them more. Like, oh, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I got all these goodies for you, right? That's how Daddy God is. As you start to speak on him, you take your focus, first of all, off everyone else. And I'm not saying focus on yourself over God. Let's not get it twisted. I'm saying that all the energy you expounding by talking about other people, you could apply to yourself. You could self-check and think, you know what, Daddy God, help me here. Help me be stronger there. Let me walk this way that you've designed for me let me get lined up with what you have for me let me move in you right let me move for your glory let me be great for you for the kingdom it it 
not a selfish way of thinking. It's a focused way of thinking. And it's how we're supposed to all think. We're all designed to self-check. And it's not in our strength that we change, right? It's daddy God's strength. But even if we're willing to take a look at ourselves, we could go to him and ask him to help us with things, right? But if you run it around putting people down so you feel better about yourself, something's wrong with you. That's weirdo. You're being a weirdo, right? That's a weirdo. You should never focus more on others in a negative sense than you do on yourself. If you looking at people and you see a need and you feel like I can help in that place, right? And so you focus in that sense, that's beautiful because you trying to help them. But if you looking at them like, oh, I'm so glad I'm not that. That's what the Pharisees did and Jesus was not happy with it. He made it very clear when he was talking about the tax collector and the Pharisee, right? Daddy God was like, I don't care what you talking about, Pharisee. The tax collector was like, forgive me, I'm a sinner. As you look at yourself in reality and realize you lacking in these areas, it helps you recognize your need for God. And that's beautiful because every time you recognize your need for him, right, he can work in your life. And that's a good focus. I'm not saying be like, oh, I'm such a bad person. Go kill yourself. I'm not saying that. That's weak. That's not of God. That's Satan, right? But if you like, I'm really struggling here. Daddy God, help me here. How is you going to focus on someone else struggling with that? We only look outward when we're not willing to take a look at ourselves. When we feeling like something's wrong with us and we'd rather point out something wrong in other, another person. He said, put a sin out job before you get into someone else's stuff, right? So let that be encouragement to you to go on to Daddy God and ask him to open up your eyes and see where you lacking at so you can deal with that instead of worrying about what the next person lacking in. Okay? God bless you. Have a wonderful day.